What's up everybody, welcome to Screen Realm, my name is Guillermo and today I'm going to be watching the trailer for Chupa, a Netflix adventure film directed by Jonas Cuaron. He's making his second feature film here following 2015 thriller Desierto, that one starred Gael Garcia Bernal. Now, Jonas Cuaron, interestingly, is the son of amazing filmmaker Alfonso Cuaron. Alfonso directed uh, Children of Men, Gravity, Y Tu Mama Tambien, an amazing filmmaker there. Now this one is called Chupa, which is kind of, uh, I don't know if it's... A bit of a risky move to to call this film Chupa because Chupa in Spanish and in a number of languages is often used uh, as a slang term for well look Chupa translates to suck so you, you you get the idea there but this is actually short for Chupa Cabra which the film is based on which is a legendary creature that uh, is in the folklore of a lot of South American countries it's basically just Chupa Cabra translates to goat sucker so this is a folklore about a creature that goes around um, drinking the blood of you know farm animals like goats so this is an adventure film based around that idea and it looks to be in the in the same vein as films like E.T. Pete's Dragon you know films with children protecting misunderstood creatures or becoming friends with misunderstood creatures that other people want to harm or hunt down so let's have a look at the trailer for Chupa let's go You're going to have fun. Your dad always said San Javier was a magical place. And your cousins will be there. But I don't even remember them. It's always about a kid who has to leave his family, be on his own, or be somewhere that he doesn't want. El Chupa what? El Chupacabras. You've never heard of it? Here we go. Chupacabras doesn't exist. It's a fairy tale. There's always adults that never believe it. Come on. Here he is. That's like, just like E.T., right? With the barn and the, the light and... What is it? Chupacabra. What about we call him Chupa? You know Chupa means sucker, right? <laughs> Chupa. So they had to mention it. Yeah, it, it means sucker. Don't worry. I'm oh. gonna take care of you. Oh. There are some bad people out there who want to take Christian advantage Slater. of Christian I didn't even know he was in this movie. I know you saw it. Ooh. He's the bad guy. We have to get him out of here. Let's go, we gotta go! Major E.T. vibes, right? Major E.T. vibes. Are you sure you know how to drive? Ah! Yeah! They need to be on bicycles, though. Go, look at You don't have to be alone anymore. Your family is still out there. We will find them. Wherever you are. This one's gonna get the tears, I think. I will always be by your no. side. And the, you gotta make... It's cute. You gotta make the uh, the creature look like a cute dog. Because that really will grab the heart. I like it. I mean, um, it looks very familiar. I, d I don't know if I'm blown away or anything by that trailer, but... It looks like a sweet family movie. I like that Christian Slater is the bad guy. I didn't even know he was in this film. I, I actually haven't looked at... Yeah, a lot of the time I like to look up as much information as I can, but sometimes I want to go in without knowing much. And I didn't know Christian Slater was the uh, the bad guy of that film. Looks pretty good. I'm keen to see what Juan Escuadron does here. Um, second film as director. This is produced by Chris Columbus. Now, Chris Columbus is a filmmaker that certainly knows his way around family films. Chris Columbus directed Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Mrs. Doubtfire, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I think this does look like the kind of film that Chris Columbus would have been directing at some point in time, but you can still feel his influence here on this film, I think, which I think is a good thing. Now, I haven't actually mentioned the, the cast. Christian Slater, I pulled it up now. Christian Slater is, of course, the villain, like we just saw. Um, the film does include Damien Bashir, uh, Evan Whitten, Ashley Ciara, and Nicholas Verdugo. A lot of them, I think, I think, are relative newcomers 
for me anyway, except of course Demian Bashir. The film is going to be hitting Netflix on April 7th, so looking forward to checking it out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and as always, be sure to subscribe to Screen Realm in case you still haven't. Catch you soon.